Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 18, Thread and String. So, early in your crafting in Cataclysm, you're likely to come across the need to have a fairly good amount of thread and string, and I want to point out just a few things about those particular materials and some things to watch out for. So, when you're very early in your survival for Cataclysm, if you're trying to craft clothing items, uh, thread and string are going to be very important. You're going to need to know how to get a hold of those in a decent supply and also, almost more importantly, a decent time frame. So when food and water have not yet been secured, meaning you have an ongoing source of both to keep you alive, it's very important not to let large amounts of time pass that could be chewing through your food and hydration. So you want to minimize the amount of time you spend doing certain actions. And I want to point out one really, really important one in particular, and that is trying to create thread and string. So when you find yourself in need of thread and string, and I'm going to use the evac shelter as a kind of a default example, um, I've mentioned previously that you can tear down curtains and right there you have two sheets and you also have a long string. So you've got a number of curtains, there are eight total in the evac shelter, so that's going to get you eight long strings total as well as 16 sheets. Now what I want to point out is this, a lot of newer players will know that they can take a sheet, we'll grab one here, drop it at our feet and then you can butcher that. So I'm using the shift B or butcher command. I have a knife uh, in my inventory and I'm going to cut that sheet up. And while I'm doing these actions, I want you to keep an eye on the clock here. So it's 8.59 currently. That action only takes a few seconds. So we have successfully butchered a sheet, butchered a sheet and turned it into rags. And we got 19 rags out of that. Well, that's great, but I need thread. So what do we do next? Well, you can butcher a rag. So again, I will butcher and it lists all the rags. I'm just gonna pick one. And this is the part I want you to look at here. So now it says nine o'clock. We're going to disassemble the rag into 100 thread. Thread's what I'm after, so that's great. Hey, it's easy, I can get 100 thread, but watch the clock. It took one hour to get the thread. So that's one hour of your game time or your hunger and thirst accumulating to get even worse while you were sitting there picking a rag apart into individual thread pieces. So that's extremely inefficient time-wise. And if you need a lot of thread, this is a horrible way to go about it. So I'm going to show you a couple of other options and just point out a few things. If these are available to you, you want to put a preference on these other methods rather than spending huge amounts of time picking rags apart into thread. So we got 100 thread out of that for just over one hour of time, but let's look at another option. So we got that long string out of the window. So we're going to grab that long string, drop it at our feet, and again, we're trying to get thread, so we're going to take this long string apart. And again, watch the time frame here. It's 10.01. It disassembles into six small strings. So at 10.06, took five minutes to disassemble that long string into six small strings. Now I'm going to disassemble a small string. And we're going to get 50 thread out of it. That took five minutes. And then we're going to disassemble another one. Another five minutes. So we now have 100 thread. That's the same amount of thread that we got out of disassembling a rag, but it's only taking one third of the time, just over 20 minutes. So if you have long string available and you don't need it specifically for any particular reason, it would be preferable to just chop that into small strings and then the small strings into thread. It's only gonna take you one third of the in-game time. So you have basically cut your food and hydration uh, issue in a third by doing that. So, like I said, when food and water and other time pressures are really critical, let's say for example you're infected or you're bitten and you've got a very short amount of time to accomplish certain things and the clock is running, you don't want to sit down on the floor and start picking a bunch of rags apart. Uh, 8, 10, 12 hours will disappear without you even realizing it 
and you'll start wondering why you're always hungry and thirsty and why your infections are always hitting you so quickly. A lot of times it's because you're not paying close enough attention to how much time is going by. Now another point I want to make is I put a watch on this early starting character just for demonstration purposes in this example. You won't have a clock generally right at the beginning of the game so it's a little hard to gauge just how much time is passing for certain actions and you wouldn't really realize that picking a rag apart is taking an hour. Um, it's really hard to notice or tell how much time is going by until you get some kind of a timekeeping device, like a watch or a cell phone, things like that. So just be very wary and aware that uh, picking a rag apart is actually a very time-intensive process. It takes a full game hour for that single rag to be disassembled into 100 thread. So if you have the option, take higher level items apart, disassemble them down to the lower level item that you actually want. It's easier than going the reverse or picking a rag apart. So that's the main thing I wanted to mention. Um, threads you can get, like I've mentioned already, from picking curtains down, you get a long thread. You can also get them, uh, as an example, from the last quick tip, from ropes. So if you get short ropes or long ropes by taking apart uh, seat belts from vehicles or five-point harnesses, then ropes are going to provide you a wealth of this type of material. So as an example, we take this one single long rope, drop it on the ground here. When we disassemble this or butcher it, we're going to get five short ropes out of it. Then we can butcher a single short rope into six long strings. Don't care about the feral hunter. <laughs> then we can disassemble the long strings into small strings. And then we can disassemble the small strings into thread. So out of that single rope, we've got 50 thread, we've still got five more small strings, five more long strings, and four more short ropes. So you can kind of see a single long rope is a huge benefit to providing long strings, small strings, and thread. And it's much, much faster than trying to go from the bottom up to create these kinds of things. So if you've got the option, if you've got a screwdriver or any other tool that you need, it's much, much faster in-game time-wise to disassemble seatbelts from cars or five-point harnesses for these kinds of materials. I rarely try to attempt crafting a rope uh, from the bottom up, from just rags to threads and then up to string or small strings, long strings, and so on. It's a horrendous time waste to try to do it that direction. Much, much better time served going out and finding the tools you need and then taking car apart and grabbing them that way. So, hope you found this information helpful. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.